So tonight, because it's a Doctor Who special, we had this idea to do. I had, I had written that we had the Doctor Who theme music, and uh, and I'd written some words over the top of it, and we all did a dance number, and we rehearsed it. Last two days, we've been rehearsing it. Rehearsed it like crazy. It was awesome. We were dancing around. The puppets were in it. It was like, ooh, and I, you know, I did a whole big thing because I know you enjoy the puppet intros, and to be honest, I enjoy them too. And look, these guys don't dress like this all the time. Well, he does, but nobody else does. <laughs> So anyway, five minutes before we start tonight, I'm not kidding, five minutes, the producers, and I use the term loosely, <laughs> come to me and say, uh, Craig, we haven't got legal clearance to use the song. <gasps> That's the noise I made. <laughs> and then I made a noise that you probably wouldn't make. <laughs> not if you're a lady. I said, you! What's that coming ago? What's that coming ago? Tootsie Fruitsie. But luckily I didn't let it affect me or make me angry in any way. <laughs> By the way, this is Doctor Who's uh, uh, magic pen. <laughs> I look forward to your corrections. Uh, I know what it is. Anyway, this is what I'm going to use on the nuts of the people that produce this show. <laughs> Don't get old, you know. Anyway, so here's the thing. Uh, we're, we're only uh, legally entitled to do uh, a much uh, scaled down version of our dance number. So you ready, everybody? The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by the Volkswagen Sign Then Drive event, where you can drive away in a VW for practically just your signature. sound a little bit like you're only doing it because somebody was sweating and gave you candy. <laughs> Please laugh, I need this job! I need this job, I need to work! I know it's a crappy job, but if you don't laugh, he beats me! <laughs> and I do, I do, I beat him! And do you know why? Because they like that, that's why! Yes, I'll tell them. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. A great day for America. And, all right. All right. It's a great day for America and a great day for our friends over there in Great Britain. Oh, you hoity diddly da hoity da. Oh, wait a minute. That's Ireland. Hold on. Who diddly do? There you are. <laughs> No, it's uh, congratulations to uh, Prince William and uh, getting engaged to his girlfriend, Kate Middleton. Congratulations, your princeliness. 
It's been a long time I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, all right, Governor, well done. Aye. Britain hasn't been this excited about the prospect of a new queen since Ricky Martin, but this one's English. English, I tells you. Living la vida loca. Nailed it. You nailed Ricky Martin? Sexy. Wow. All right, back here in the United States, uh, in America, back here in America, where things are easier to understand, a man in Kentucky was forced to eat his own beard. <laughs> That's true. It, <laughs> it's like, there's a royal wedding in Britain, but in Kentucky, a guy ate his own beard. <laughs> what? Yeah! Uh, the, well, apparently what happened, there was a dispute over a lawnmower. Uh, shockingly, alcohol was involved. <laughs> And somebody said, right, you're going to eat your beard, and... <laughs> eat beard. Uh, eating your beard can't be that, but we have a picture of this guy, we got a Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, like, I like the caption, look at the caption. Man forced to eat beard. Doesn't say his own beard, could have been another beard. Oh, that guy was never forced to eat anything in his damn life, look at him. You leave a beard lying around, that bastard's gonna eat it. Uh, you gonna finish that beard? No, it's not. Anyway, listen, it is a great day for us here at this show, a great day for me personally, because Matt Smith is here, the star of the Doctor Who show. I'm very, very excited about that. Jeff's excited. The Dalek's excited. I'm excited. This, this TV show, Doctor Who, has been close to my heart since I was a young girl. Do we have a... <laughs> Do you know what I just realized? The, the Dalek, which is from Doctor Who, I never realized before they're covered in balls. <laughs> Do we have a graphic for Doctor Who now? Let's see what we got. Whoa. If you've never seen the Doctor Who show, you can watch it on BBC America. I like BBC America. It's not as good as CBS, of course. Huh? CBS cares. <laughs> but, but you should read the... Uh, read. Yeah, you should read. Yeah, it's so good. They're so clever. You actually have to read their channel. No. You should watch BBC America because the way they read the news is awesome. It's very... You know, the news readers are very calm and dignified British. Like, you know, we've received a word of a meteor shower heading for Earth. We're all going to die. <laughs> In other news, Prince Charles got a new pair of trousers. Uh, apparently, the and there's a new queen, Ricky Martin, everybody. <laughs> now, for those of you who've never seen a Doctor Who, uh, first of all, what? And then... <laughs> secondly, uh, it's about... Uh, Doctor Who is about a, a Time Lord, a, an alien, a doctor, if you will, who travels through time in a phone booth. An idea that was flat out stolen by Bill and Ted. <laughs> Excellent adventure, my ass! Yes! By the way... <laughs> by the way, Excellent Adventure, My Ass is the name of a movie I've had an idea to write. <laughs> I'll try and get Keanu Reeves, but I don't think he'll do it. Anyway. No, you didn't? No, just Ricky Martin, then. Sexy! You're right, okay. Now, Doctor Who is a lot of high-profile uh, fans. Steven Spielberg said the world would be a poorer place without Doctor Who. But remember, Spielberg's idea of poor is kind of different than yours, right? I mean, it, like, you don't have a gold Ferrari? How do you manage? <laughs> now, Matt Smith plays the Doctor. Now, I like the Doctor because he doesn't, you know, he's not like a regular superhero. I know he's a superhero. Please don't send me your emails. <laughs> But he's like a different superhero because he doesn't he doesn't fly, he doesn't have laser beam eyes, he doesn't have six-pack abs, he just has intellect. He has intellect, it's an attainable power for all. He achieves things with his just his mind, just his mind, and a and a phone booth that travels through time. And <laughs> and the uh, and the power to regenerate uh, his body from one form into another. And uh, and uh, a magic screwdriver. But apart from that, he's just like us. Now, Doctor Who, of course, has been played by 11 different people. Kind of like Cher, but... Uh... L-O-L-C-F. 
We're going through time again. Yeah. Technically, Cher is one person, of course, but is made from parts of 11 different people. <laughs> that's, right, that's why Doctor Who has been on there for so long, you see, because when the main actor quits, they replace him with another one, and then he say, he regenerated. You see? <laughs> At least they, they explain it. When Dick York turned into Dick Sargent and Bewitched, they never even bothered explaining why. They just did it. They're like, oh, yeah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> By the way, Dick Sargent was my rank in the West Hollywood Volunteer Army. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> they didn't ask and I didn't tell. Dick Sargent is the lead character in my movie, Excellent Adventure, My Ass. <laughs> All right, we have to take a commercial break. I know people who normally watch BBC are like, what the hell is that? Well, <laughs> it's what we do in America, buddy. It, it gives us time to eat our own beards. <laughs> do you know, if I could eat my own beard, In your no! pants. No! Not in your pants. <laughs> we have to take a break, but when we come back, more Doctor Who hijinks. We'll be right back, everyone. Yeah. which is partially legal. In your pants. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. That's right, Jeff. In your pants. Ha! What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Time to man up and tweet down. Oh, emails and tweets. Right, I get it. Yeah, play the thing. I'm so depressed. If only somebody would... Oh, Secretary! so depressed all evening. Did you hear what happened? It is a sham. How do you work under these conditions? I don't know. It's I don't know. Does this happen to anyone else? No, it doesn't. No. I'm so sorry. Well, it does it. I don't know. I don't watch anyone else. I don't even watch this. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You but did you see? It. Did you see the, the number that we did with the dancing and the Dalek and I? The fact that you are not going to be able to show that number is the greatest crime that has ever befallen <laughs> television. The the viewers at home have been robbed of one of the great moments in entertainment. Well, all I hope, Chris, is that no unscrupulous person in this organization link, you know, leaks that thing to the internet, because I'd be furious. That would be terrible. Uh, there's no way I'm endorsing that kind of behavior. And if anyone does that around here, they'll be -la -la. promoted, sir. Absolutely. I am so, it's so thrilling to me. Just, uh, you, Craig, you called me a couple of days ago and you I were did. like, Mr. Hardwick, you know who's gonna be on the show? And I'm like, 11th Dr. Matt Smith. And yeah, then, he uh, knew, he knew I, knew. I told him. And then we talked a little bit longer and then you said, uh, so when do you wanna come back on and do emails? And I think I cut you off and I was like, how's Tuesday, is Tuesday okay? Yeah. Like, I, I totally. <laughs> Kind of invited myself on oh, the show. Oh, you know, I got myself in terrible trouble. I said magic pen for the sonic screwdriver. Oh, oh no. no. It's gonna, they're going to be chasing me around. They are. I got one, too. Oh, you do? Yours is bigger than mine. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have you got a producer nut grabber on it as well? Look at that. No. Mine just does uh, an ionic massage to the nuts. Oh, it doesn't actually nice. do the grab. I like an ionic massage for it the nuts. Is. 
Uh, oh, look, I got a little TARDIS as well. Hey. Actually, it's not a little TARDIS. This is an actual, this is the actual TARDIS. It is. You know it's what? actually, it, popular myth thinks it's bigger on the inside than the outside, but actually that's the wrong way around. Really? Yeah. I don't know, that's true. I'm wearing my uh, DeLorean, run, DeLorean runs into the TARDIS uh, t-shirt. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. All right, now listen. For the folks that don't understand the Doctor Who, I hope we get an email that asks us how to explain it. I oh, here's an email from so. Chris oh. in Anchorage, Alaska. Good. He says, uh, Dear Clay, how can I explain to my friends what Doctor Who is all about in a few words and get them to watch it? Oh, I don't know, Chris. Could you? Um, let's see. Show is awesome, you deaf. Uh-oh. I think that's uh, pretty much... There's right? no need to insult the man. What are you talking about? You don't need to insult the man. Oh, he's in Alaska. I'm never going to be up oh, there. Oh, no. No, you're going to go there. What? Yes. Okay. I can tell that. <laughs> I've got the I scarf. I used my... Yeah, what's that? Oh, the Tom Baker scarf. The Tom scarf. Baker yeah, scarf. Yeah. One of my Twitter followers is a, a lady named Tara. She made this and sent it to me. And she's like, it's nine feet long. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it is nine feet long. Yeah, and this is going to really make Americans watch Doctor Who. That's yeah, right. So. <laughs> All right, here's another one. It's actually about Doctor Who as well. So, Dear Craig and Chris, uh, this is from uh, Patrick in Stone Mountain in Georgia. All right. All right. Hey, is Doctor Who ever kicking any commie ass? You think Doctor Who could eat his own beard? I don't think so. No. Uh, Patrick says, uh, Craig, given the chance, would you rather become James Bond or Doctor Who? Uh, well, I think, uh, there, on my podcast, my friend Matt, Matthew Myra, has a theory that James Bond actually is a Time Lord, and oh, that's man, why he... You are ridiculous. You know, sometimes I just want to get over there and just beat you up. Right. <laughs> Matt, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Matt doesn't have a girlfriend, but that's not the point. He, right. um, but he's convinced that, uh, that James Bond just regenerates, and that's why he's different. And, no, and all the... no, 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 okay. no, no. <laughs> They're so different, you nerd. <laughs> By the way, if Matt Smith ever decides to move on, I think you would make an excellent 12th Doctor, yeah, if I could just say that. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking... I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. I'm looking for a position somewhere. <laughs> so I'd be like... Because, like, if I audition for Doctor Who, I'd want to play him like a Guy Ritchie-esque, like, uh, like a gangster, you That's know? That's not bad. So like, oi, oi, Dalek! What are you trying to do? Are you trying to use the Empire State Building to channel gamma rays to create a human dolic hybrid? What? Are you mental? I'm not. Tootsie Fruits. Doctor! I will kill you very, very hard! Yeah, you it. stupid bastard! All right, all right. That was really good, man. Thanks, it's... I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. If your teeth weren't so nice, I'd have thought you were English there. <laughs> all right, here's one that's not related to the doctor. You're welcome, America. Uh... This is from Tiffany in Gold Coast in uh, Australia. Oh, God. Oh. Have, you ever, uh, have you ever dated anyone called Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Uh, yeah. Freeze frame high five. Uh. All right. Sexy. Yeah, All right. right. Uh, Tiffany says, uh, Dear Craig, is it rude to stare at couples who are making out in public? Oh, that's an interesting one. Not in Australia, I would imagine. No, no. I think it's rude to stare if you do this. <laughs> <laughs> if all of a sudden... If all of a sudden... It's not the staring that's rude, it's the right. doing that. It's right. If all of a sudden it turns into a three-way that couple's not aware they're in, I think that's when it becomes rude. Yeah, that's, that's just weird. Yeah. All right, this is from Sue in Modesto, California, in the good old U.S. of A. All right. All right. Dear uh, Craig and uh, Chris, uh, is there a secret plan to replace Jeff with the Dalek? Also, is the Dalek a boy or a girl? <laughs> they don't... There is no... First of all, the Dalek would just take the position if he wanted. I mean, right, like, exactly. He's a Dalek. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Daleks, the Dal I don't know if you're not a Doctor Who fan, you don't know, but that, that's actually just an encasement. There's a... Like, they have a crunchy outer shell with a chewy squid inside. <laughs> So, uh, Do you, I had a, I've had an idea about Jeff and the Dalek. What's that? All right, it's it's for the next season on CBS. Uh huh. All right, they share an apartment. Oh my God, I love it already. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Jeff is really, really kind of untidy, and the Dalek is really neat, and they kind of like you know they drive each other crazy. Oh my God, I love it. You know, it'd be awesome, wouldn't it? One that of them's really kind of pernickety, and the other one likes sports. Yeah. Then. 
Yeah. And then Jeff, Jeff, Jeff's kind of the irresponsible one, and the Dalek's like, did you drink my milk again? Yeah, like, yeah. they fight about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. That's an, that's an amazing show. That'd be great, yeah. I think, I, I think people would enjoy that. I think, that's, then, I think that's your ticket out of this place, my oh friend, man, right no, there. No. My ticket out of this place happened during the cold <laughs> open, <sound. laughs> Um, this is from Liz in Lincoln, Nebraska. You ever uh, been to Nebraska? I don't believe I've actually been to Nebraska, no. Really? Yes. So how long have you been in Al-Qaeda? Um, <laughs> well, just a couple of, oh, you tricked ah! me! <laughs> Dear Craig and Chris, it actually says that, look there, Dear it Craig It really and does Chris. say yeah, Craig and Chris, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. What is the name of the phone network Martha used to defeat the, oh, it's about the Dr. Who again! <laughs> 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 This is a very successful emails and tweets segment yeah. so far. <sighs> All right, who, who, uh, who's the sexiest uh, doctor companion? Oh, that's an excellent question. Yeah, I all... just made it up myself. Okay, that's a good one. Because I've got it, you know. Amy Pond. Yeah, Amy, Amy Pond. Pond yeah. Amy Pond. Yeah, Amy Pond. she is. She yeah. really is. If you haven't seen, uh, the, go to uh, the, the, uh, the, what do they call the places you get DVDs? The internet? Yeah, no, the DVDs. <laughs> The, the video store? Yeah, video store. And yeah, I go to the video store to get the fifth season of Doctor Who uh -huh. uh, on the DVDs. And Doctor Who's uh, sidekick is not a robot skeleton, but a very attractive uh, Scottish lady called Amy Pond. But a real name Karen is Gillen. Karen Gillan. Yeah, yes. she's lovely. Yeah, she is. Are you attracted to Scottish people, Chris? <laughs> hey! Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. The hell, man. Uh, whatever. Hey, we're friends. Yeah, it doesn't mean we have sex. What? Listen, if, t if two dudes can't share an HJ between friends, like, I don't know what the... HJ? HJ. It's an acronym. Uh, no, I don't get... <coughs> oh! Oh! Oh, is that all? We'll yeah. be right back, everybody. Chris Hardwick, thank you. show, which has been a huge disappointment since the code open. <laughs> you got it, Jeff. But now things are going to change. My first guest tonight is uh, on a show called Doctor Who. Uh, you're not surprised by that. <laughs> really? Who is it, Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> the fifth season of this show is available on DVD now. That's enough. It's starting to get a little weird. Yeah. Do you get that a lot with the weird, uh, obsessive fans who yeah, just the, want to touch it? Uh, <laughs> like that. Yeah. The fans are quite enthusiastic. There's a chap dressed there in a bow tie. You look smart. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So look, what, is there no way that I can just, like, hum the theme tune and then you can do the dance? Because well, the dance was so good. It was great. It really was great. I, I would hate for that to leak onto the internet, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be awful. What was amazing was that you were actually in it. I know. Yeah! I know, I know, I know. And such... Anyway... Ah, yeah, hey. what the hell. Well, it's good to know that inefficiency can make it across the Atlantic and all the way to CBS. <laughs> Are you having a nice time at the BBC? It's kind of like working at the post office, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm having a wonderful time at the BBC. I've got to say, I've been made to feel very welcome here, though, in the USA, man. Like, particularly from you, Craig. Well, I'm, you see, I don't know if you know this, but I wasn't born here. No. <laughs> are, you getting to, are you getting to walk around and, and see this great country? I'm American now. I can show you around if you want. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I drove, I drove up the coast from, uh, well, well, I drove from sort of Vegas. I met a girl. After Vegas is not on the me. coast. Uh, no, yeah. we're not going to... You met a girl in Vegas? I met a girl. We're not in Whoa! Vegas! Oh, God! 
You're really getting into the American know, experience, God. are you? Everyone at the BBC is worrying quite painfully right now. I think <laughs> young Matthew met a young lady in Vegas. Oh, no. What's her name? <laughs> Tiffany, I believe. <laughs> Tiffany? <laughs> Yeah, I've never dated a girl called Tiffany. Yeah? Well, Have you've you? never been to Vegas properly yeah, there. Yeah, 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 I know, man. So do you, you go to the strip clubs a lot when you're in Vegas? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, no, I don't because I have to think of the children. No, uh, um... No, so anyway, but I did stay in the, in the, uh, in the Playboy sort of penthouse. In Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Is that where you met the girl? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No. no, all right, all right. So you drove America. <laughs> You'll be all right. Yeah. You'll be all right. Yeah. Now, um, the, so you drove up the coast from Vegas to where? I drove up the coast and I drove to San Fran. I went to Big Sand. I went to a great hotel called the uh, the Post Ranch Inn, which is rather glorious. And, and I know to, that place. Oh man, it's amazing, right? Well, no. <laughs> It's great. It's all right. You're a man with fine taste, obviously. I'm also a man with children, and you can't take kids there. <laughs> Why not? They don't let them in. Why? Because they're small. Why? <laughs> They don't like children to be there so that everyone can do be yoga. Be romantic. Yeah, yeah. And, well, they Staring into each other's eyes yeah, and stuff. And all that. Yeah. Well, you can do that when you've got kids, too, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. That's like right, it. my children are urchins from the 19th century. <laughs> Is that... That's, that's my boy there. I keep a picture of my son there. I never show it on TV, but I keep, no, I keep yeah, a yeah, picture of, of him there. It's nice. So that uh, I remember why I do this. Ooh la la! <laughs> Pay the bills, Mum. I feel ya. Fancy a uh, freeze frame high five? It's my new thing. Freeze yeah, let's frame go. high five. So I'll right. go with the left. All right, are you ready? Yeah, what? <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's good. Have you done a lot of talk shows since you got here, then? No, this is my first. This is my really? first. Really? Oh, there's much better ones than this. <laughs> You, you, I like, you're genuinely very funny, much funnier than the people in England, I've got to say. No, don't say that. I have to go back there at when? some point. <laughs> what, maybe do one in England? Yeah, no, oh, you never. No. You're an American no, citizen No, I'm an now. American now. I've got my tattoo. So what's with the snakes? Oh, well, I've got a small penis, so... Sure. Uh, <laughs> and... So, you see, and then the, uh, the snake tattoo, you see. Join or die? Join or die, Join, yeah. oh, what, join the US? Join, yeah, join the... New York, New Jersey? Yeah, yeah you're, oh, you're very good. You're you're good. good. Yeah, I, yeah. I know places. Yeah. You drive up the coast here. Yeah. From, uh, from Vegas, where you yeah. met a girl called Tiffany. Hey, have you got any tattoos? No. Oh, come on, it's time. No, but, but, but I mean, what would I get? On. Cut loose a little, get a tattoo while I you're know. in America. Perhaps of? A Dalek? Yeah, maybe. No, nah, no, nah, that would be too clear. You don't want to do that because you, you're an actor. You, you're not just Doctor Who. You'll want to go on after you're done with Doctor but, uh, Who. There's other stuff things. that they can paint them out with, isn't there? They can sort of drive them out. Oh, in. I see. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not a tattoo, Matthew. That's a, a henna tattoo. Mm, that's a big I'm gay picture. <laughs> No, it's not. It, it's all right. Uh, so, um, you, but you drove from Vegas to San Francisco along the coast, yeah, which is did, amazing. Yosemite uh, as well. Well, Yosemite's nice. Did you see any bears? No, sadly not. I was no, told no, you there would be see bears. Them. I was a little disappointed. Why? Well, because when one is in the green, green suburbs of the US, uh, 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 <laughs> a bear would have been most welcome, <laughs> frankly. Yes, I know. I, um, I feel have you met a bear? Kind of. No? In your bed. Oh, come on, why? It's a Tootsie Fruits. Matt Smith, you arse! Yeah. Don't embarrass me! Jeff. Sorry. No, don't worry. Uh, it's all right. So, um, what, how long will you do Doctor Who then? Because you don't do Doctor Who forever, do you? Well, no, I mean, I doubt it. Tom Baker did it for seven years. Really? Yeah. That yeah. was that was my doctor. That was the fourth. Was it, yeah, yeah, was yeah. was yeah. He was great. The scar, he was very good. I yeah, love yeah, Tom Baker. He was he was brilliant. Uh, well, you know, I take it a year at a time, man. I mean, I'm going to do this year and then and then uh, maybe 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 do next year as well. I would. Are like you to. filming any of the show in the, in the United States? We are in Utah. Oh, Monument Valley, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great. It's good. It, it, I, I, I think it broadens, the, you know, the scale of the show and makes it epic and vast and everything that Utah and Monument Valley is. Have you been to Utah? Before? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's made me gorgeous. Although, I've seen it. It's where uh, Tom Hanks, when he's got his beard, yeah. in a. Uh, he doesn't Forrest live there, Gump. you know. He lives in LA. Yeah, you know I know, that, I know. Right? I know. Yeah. And he's running and he stops. Oh, that's right, in Forest, uh, Forest, Forest Whitaker. Yeah. Go. <laughs>
Do you enjoy Forrest Gump, that film? I love Forrest Gump. Would you ever run across America? No. <laughs> do you run? You're quite thin. Do you run? Well, well, thank you very much. So are you. I'm not as thin as you. You're no, like David no. Bowie thin. No, I'm just no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, no. But yeah, I, you know, I swim. I like to keep fit. Do you swim? I do, man, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. nice. Do you swim? No. No? <laughs> no, I'm against swimming. <laughs> Yeah, I look forward to your letters. Uh, I can't believe you're against swimming. People get very angry. I'm, I'm a bit cross tonight about that. I can't oh, let it go man, about that I'm song. I'm a bit cross. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was really brilliant. I, I, I mean, yeah. yeah. And a whole we, day rehearsing as well. I know, two days rehearsing. That's more than I've done for the entire seven years I've been here. Wherever. Yeah. We have to take a break. Uh, it's a commercial thing. It's American. You'll get sure. used to it. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Matt Smith, everyone. Smith, who plays the Doctor uh, in a show called Doctor Who. Now, but the Doctor's not called Doctor Who. He's called the Doctor. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yes. Did you it. watch the show when you were a kid in Britain? No, because I was part of what I call the Baron Age, where they took it off the, the, the air, yeah, the BBC. Right. So I, I didn't get it as a kid, and, and uh, you did, right? Well, I'm a bit older than you, actually. <laughs> Matt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you got to be sort of eight and ten and watch it and be scared and do all I that. Was and I was very, very frightened of it. Yeah, see, the thing is, I'm trying to explain to my American family and friends how, how frightening this Dalek is, and they're kind of like, yeah. oh, what? It's an espresso machine. I'm like, no. <laughs> No, it's, it's, a ter it's a terrifying creature from another world. They're like, no, it looks like it would make a very interesting cup of coffee. And I, like, I love the fact that someone asked if it was male or female. What, what, what I know. the hell have you got to go on? It's wearing a big metal dress. I know, yeah. Yeah, you're right, I don't know. But it's covered in balls. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And by the way, I wonder if... Oh, sorry! Oh, my secretary heads at the door! Quickly! Wait a minute. What are, what are you doing here? I don't know. I thought oh, you... Oh, sit down. I thought you... Wait a I... minute. Chris, you don't always come out when the secretariat comes out. That was only just a one-off, man. No, no, it's going to be every day now. You, you always come out with that. You can't, man. Matt Smith is here from Doctor Who. He can hear you. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> He's a big fan of Doctor we Who. We met. We met. He we did had a my... podcast. Yes, yeah. he recorded my. He yeah. came on my podcast. Oh, really? That's yeah. great. I really was, I was. Thanks for having me there, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a really attractive. She was very pretty. Oh, Janet. Yeah. Yes, that's my girlfriend, Janet. Yeah. You listen. I'm a big fan. You can sleep with her if you no, want. No, no, I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> I, I would be Chris, honored. Chris, uh, Chris. I, I insist it, it that you sleep work with me. like that. Oh, okay. You have to ask Janet. You, get, you don't own Janet. You can't just say, oh, you can sleep with my girlfriend, Janet, mate. No, that's Dr. Who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Do you a lot of girls hit on you because you, you know, you can travel through space and time and you got yeah, that pen? Well, you know, I like to think nothing's changed and they've always hit on me, but I guess it's probably only because I am Come Dr. Who. Yeah, no, wake I don't up. Know. I know. Wake oh, up. They liked me before. They did. <laughs> they liked you, but now they like yeah. you. Yeah. Like now, now they listen to me. This is Yes, the it's thing. true. Oh, that's are you the doctor? I'm bigger on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> so rude of me. So rude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good time. Hey, uh, how about a three-way awkward pause? <laughs> I mean, you're the doctor and all, but leave my Tootsie Fruits cup alone. <laughs> Also, I would like to add, that was a natural awkward pause, because I thought it was just how about a three-way, and I... It was... <laughs> well, as we're on the subject, how about a three-way? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Sorry, Fine. Janet, I got there first. <laughs> what? Uh, listen, uh, look, uh, we'll do a musical awkward pause. I've only got two mouth organs, Chris, so... Can I'm you sorry. play it? No. I'll have a go. Okay, well, here's yours. Just uh, sure. take that out and have a blow at that. Oh, wow, it's like uh, brand new. Oh, Chris, look, there's another one. Oh, my God, Joyce Day. Oh, 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 there you are. All oh, right. Wow, is, so, um, I mean, are there any tips? You just... <coughs> oh, you've got the hand movement there. <laughs> Off you go, then. What is that? <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you do that. Only Americans play mouth organs in this show, buddy. And if you want to eat your own beard, well, <laughs> go right ahead. You ready, Chris? What are we playing? What am I going to uh, play? We're going to play out because we don't we don't have a band. I don't know if you've no. noticed. Yeah. All, all late night talk shows are the same. You know, the guy comes out, he talks to the band, then he talks to his sidekick, and then you know, oh wait a minute. <laughs> But we're going to, we play out, you know, when the music at the end of the guest, we go, thanks very much, and then the band goes, da 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 like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, well we don't have a band, so yeah. we're going to do the theme tune with now the, to, to, you know. With the mouth organ. Yeah, to say goodnight. Can I play the mouth organ? Oh, oh right. thanks. <laughs> That's good. You play that, because I, yeah. I can't play this very well, yeah. so I should just do, like, I should just do mouth percussion, like, da 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 or whatever. Oh, are you actually... Well, wait a minute, what should we call the band? I want to know what we're going to call the band first. Three... Octopuses and an otter. Yes. <laughs> hey, you're the doctor. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, three octopuses and an otter. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Think despite it all, it went rather well. <laughs> I like Matt Smith. He looks like the type of guy that if he wanted to clear a song, he would probably get it done. <laughs> However, um, I think people like this show. <laughs> no. I think people like this show because at least you get to see another human being experience crushing disappointment. <laughs> it's not like one of them fancy late night shows where the guy comes out and goes, Hey, my life is great, my band is here, all my buddies, my stuff and money, oh no. <laughs> no, here you just got an immigrant and some... Ooh la la! <laughs> but... You do have someone who loves the medium. And by medium, I mean someone who can talk to the dead. Because that's how you'll be communicating to me after this I can show. <laughs> and I feel bad for everyone that dressed up and got ready for the, you know, we did the dad. Come on out, everybody. Come on out. Come on out, everybody. Come on. Come on, secretary. Come on, cast the players. Don't do, don't you come out. Get under there. Uh, come on, everybody. All right, you ready? Follow my lead. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Tootsie Fruitsie. Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs>